I am Philip, or Phil if you prefer. Watch as our only method of transporting our possibly ethically dubious goods is crippled by a spiteful Eldar, and then destroyed by what appears to be a very large and long pipe organ tank. No! See Fessus running in a panic towards the tank. No, please, please be all right. Why, I had no idea he had empathy with it. He veers off towards the wreckage of the van and starts pulling at the crates. Oh, thank goodness you're okay. Don't worry, Daddy's here now. And Daddy's gonna make sure you all get your new homes where you can make Daddy a lot of money. Of course. After I help the car us up, we all make our way over to the crashed vehicle. The pipe organ aesthetic. The dark, macabre color scheme. Why this vehicle must belong to the Order of the Black Sepulchre. And as the occupants piled out of the smoking vehicle, you will never guess who I saw. Sister Maria! What luck! Oh, hello, Phil. Fancy us running into each other like this. Yes, what luck indeed. Oh yes, hello again, Sister Anne Marie. I hope it wasn't too much trouble to find a replacement for that chair. Anyways, Maria, what brings you and your sisters out here at such a time of night? I could ask the same of you, Philip. We were just heading out for a nighttime purge run. And as you know, we of the Black Sepulchre work best under the cover of darkness. For what better time is there for our bodies to accept the truth our mind has already long known, and take its last breaths when moonlight shines upon us like a- Yeah, yeah, that's great, Maria, but listen, do you think you could maybe give us a ride back to Guard HQ? We're kind of in a hurry to bring these supplies back to base, and you all's ride kind of just totaled our ride. Jeez, mind your manners, Fessus. Absolutely not. Out of the vehicle stumbles a wild-eyed sister with a furious look and slightly singed hair. Nix? No, we really have an important mission to teach the scum of this city the glory of a good death. We do not have time to be playing as the guardsman Scullabus. Nix, please, I can vouch for these stormtroopers. I fought with them back during the siege when I had gotten separated. They are a loyal, hardy, and competent bunch, and adding them to our numbers would only increase our effectiveness. While I can't say much about their competence and good conscience, I can attest to their hardiness, especially of the little one they tried to use as a battering ram. Who, me? I don't remember that. You were asleep, Dakaris. Absolutely not! We are already too far behind on showing the Xenos and heretics the futility of life. Besides, even if I wanted to, I could not. My poor hearse is in no condition to drive either. It is at this point that Marcus looks much more interested in the conversation. So wait, what if we could get your hearse working again? Then would you consider taking us along? If you could achieve such an impossible feat, then yes, I would consider letting you and your belongings accompany us. Boys, get me duct tape and start moving those crates. I got this. Be me, Ecclesiarchy Youngster Bishop. Canon S is having some sort of ecclesiarchal meeting at the Matrimonial Cathedral. I can't say I love going there, but that's just because I can get so much more done at home in the mansion. Workingfromhome.png. Gather my elite retinue in full combat gear. I'm sure nothing will happen at the cathedral. I just want to make sure that we are all constantly armed and armored to the teeth for appearances. Load into the Exorcist. Don't even see why these meetings are necessary, but the governess says it's important to stay active. We can be active at home, Lud. Start hearing on the Vox that there is some kind of attack. I fucking hate Eldar. Start demanding to know why this hasn't been taken care of on the Vox. I'm a bishop. I shouldn't have to deal with this shit. I could. I would even. But I think that someone else should handle it. Immediately. I'm Saint Bridget. Get told over the Vox that some of those flying boat Eldar are back. The darn air defenses are supposed to shoot them down, but they always get under it somehow. The Avenger planes can't attack them so low either. I can fly, so that's supposed to make it my job. But they're so fast! I have bird wings. I fly at bird speed. Shoot some holy fire at them. That's really my usual go-to. They're too far away, but it seems to scare them off. I hear the Vox go off again. Some sneaky orc is escaping in a stolen vehicle and I need to catch it. I can't be everywhere at once. I'm a saint, not a miracle worker. Be me, the chosen's one chosen. One of the commissars that stood brave in the battles. I believe the one with the Bane Blade contacts me. My face when there might be Alpha Legion retards on the planet. These fucks always cheated while gambling and pretended to be playing a completely different game. Also, never play chess against them again. Brace yourself, PNG. Tell them we meet at the Cogboy's place. Take some of our guards with us and tell Babe to hop into the car. I will drive. 
Your beat intensifies. Hopefully, it's not too late. I will slay mutants, demons, and heretics alike. But you need to punch the alpha faggots into the ground before they even think about getting ideas. Get babe to hop into my car. Be me. Cyberite Drazar. Managed to ditch the helmet and my tail. See the venom every once in a while. It gave up after a bit. Decide to go back to the place I was before. With more caltrops and a blaster in case they think I forgot about them. Zoom over and see big winged monkai shooting at raiders. Idea dot reaver. Flank around from a distance and low to the ground until I'm behind her almost directly below. Gun the thing and hoe fast as fuck towards her. Surprise anal dot slaves. Fire blaster and splinter rifle. Immediately pull away. Don't see if I hit her or not. Don't want to be around in case I didn't. Speed away. Find the spot I last dropped the caltrops. See bigger mess than before. Laugh. Drop more caltrops in case they think I forgot. Zoom into the same building as before. Stay inside this time. But mock them from afar. 